What's up, guys? Aaron here from Departures Capital. And we got my favorite guest on this show, Rich TV Live. How you doing, Rich? I'm great, Aaron. How you doing today, buddy? Doing awesome. So we've got some crazy news coming up from Rich. But first, I want to ask you about the Afria rumors and big tobacco coming into the market. So let's hear it. Yeah, it's some big news. Obviously, we've had Canopy Growth do a massive multi-billion dollar deal with Constellation Brands to kind of set the stage for everybody else. Now, Afria is in talks with a big, big tobacco company. Philip Morris, pretty much, right? Altria, I believe it's called. Oh, sorry, they said the Marlboro maker. I thought Philip Morris made Marlboro, but I heard that name. So Altria is the, believe, right. the name of the company and the symbol is M-O. Yeah, okay. Their, their senior exchange symbol is M-O and they're in talks. So apparently okay. they met on Monday and they're in full-blown talks. Nothing is signed, sealed, and delivered. There's no... There's no deal in, in writing yet, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's very positive news. And based on this news, Afri exploded yesterday 14%. Buy the rumor, sell the news, and that's what people did yesterday. So congratulations mm -hmm. to anybody who took advantage of that opportunity. But obviously today the markets are back aggressively in the red. So yeah. We're seeing Afria down 1.7%, so they're holding on to most of those gains. Which is good. And I believe yeah. now we're still in a holding period. So now everyone buys the rumors. Now we're in a holding mm -hmm. period. Now they're waiting for the news. I anticipate yeah. when the news comes out, it might go up initially and then come back down sharply like we've seen happen with Aurora Cannabis recently. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I think it's going to be a big positive for our market. You know what we saw was possible with once Constellation Brands came in, it was like all the stocks exploded, not just... Uh, Canopy. So, Correct. And I mean, yeah, I think, when uh, Canopy did that deal, the stock doubled. It was at 30, it went to 60. So, yeah, yeah, yeah if I they bought, do a billion dollar deal. Day, I bought the day, the day right before. It was it was ridiculous. I was just like... So happy. The, the, the <laughs> so happy. I bought Canopy. Like, I was like, oh, this stock's a little high, 30 bucks. Blah, blah, blah. The next day, 38%. What? And then the next, it just ran. So... I don't know. That was nuts. Um, so I heard you have a new company that we're talking about, and I'd love to hear it. Yes. So one of my members, Andrew Ellington, brought me a pick a month ago and was like, Rich, Pura, 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 P-U-R-A on the OTC markets. It's a pink sheet company. Guys, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you invest in anything we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Andrew, you are a scholar, my friend. This guy, just like me, single dad, you know, trying to make it like everybody else, says, Rich, you got to look at Pura. I was like, yeah, I'm so busy. I'm looking at like at 100 stocks. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it until yesterday when it was up 51%. It broke eight cents. He got in at five. A lot of other members got in at five. It went to eight cents. And then this morning, I'm dropping a video pre-market on Pura and I'm watching it climb. And I'm like, what the hell? I don't know what it's at right now. I haven't looked at the market recently. But last time I looked, it was up as much as 48% today. It was at 13 cents. I don't know what it's at right now. But it has been What's doing uh, P-U-R-A. Okay. It was doing really well last time I looked. And a lot of our members have been able to maximize profits from the pick. So congratulations to anybody who's won on Pura today. And remember, don't get greedy, guys. Buy in the red. Sell in the mm. green. No, exactly. Okay, so um, I heard you were. Uh, I heard someone very interesting. Uh, someone that's been the talk of the town has contacted you. So let's yeah. hear what's going on there. It's true. So I have a message for this individual. He's been trying to contact me through email. He left a voicemail on my phone from a private number. And said that he wanted to communicate with me. So I thought I would communicate through a song. And, and this is Ill Kid. And all he does is drop hits. I drop picks. And Ill Kid drops hits. So I want you to listen very carefully to the lyrics. Namaste here to stay. It's truth. 
We're developing our own genre of rap. This is, this is crazy. I'm gonna put what, my left what, hand up. What? I'm gonna put my left hand up. <laughs> Get your hands up. My left hand. Only my left hand. What other channels do you know that are bringing hip hop to the investing world? I mean, come on. Man, we're just here to entertain the people, man. <laughs> it's true. Entertainment and education, man. Have fun, make money. That's what Rich TV Live is all about. I know that's what Departure Capital is all about. We just want to have fun, man. But when you got these evil guys, Dr. Evil, Mr. Kryptonite of the cannabis sector, doing everything he can to litigate against these companies, the people need to fight back. And Rich TV Live, we're fighting back. It's true. In fact, everybody, go to andrewleft at gmail.com and send him an email and let him know exactly what you think about him. Is that is that actual Gmail? That's the, that's the email he gave me. If it is him, who knows? It sounded like him. So I got this message for you, Mr. Left. This message is for you. If you feel like me... <laughs> Dude, wow. I mean, that guy's talented. That's, and you said he dropped it in like an hour? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, anybody that wants to come at Rich TV Live, beware. Ill Kid will have a diss track coming out very soon for you. Anybody that wants to battle, just come bring it, man. We ain't afraid. One thing we are not here at Rich TV Live is we are not afraid. We will not panic sell, Mr. Left. I promise you that. We will not panic sell. I'll yeah, hold out longer than you, Mr. Left, because you're short squeezing companies, you're shorting companies, and because of that, you get margin called. So you have to cover your shorts. I'm a long trader. I can hold long term. I can hold for one year. I can hold for two years. I can hold for 10 years. I'll wait you, know, you out, Mr. Left. I'll await I'm you, Mr. Very, Left. I'm very curious. What happened on that 90%, 96% Tilray spike day? What do you think happened? I think Andrew Left did everything he could to short it and make sure it went down so that he could make a lot of money. But do you think there was a margin call on his end or no? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, like I said, how many of us, every time a stock goes down on us, is going to litigate against those companies? Yeah. When he no, shorts that's... a stock and it goes up on him, he litigates against the companies. Exactly. I'm just thinking, like, that stock ran, like, 120% in two days. So, like, how do you control that? Like, there must have been um, – who knows? Maybe there was a margin call. Maybe that's why uh, you guys are in talks now. <laughs> just kidding. Well, I'm not talking. He's trying to talk to me, but I'm not speaking I know. to him. I'll speak uh, to him through heard, my music. Yeah, I was joking. I just mean, uh, yeah, he's trying to contact. Mr. So, Left, you've tried to email me. You've tried to call me from a private number, which is very sketchy, by the way. Okay. If you want to reach out to me, reach out to me, man. I'm right here. You can get me anytime. Don't use a private number. Stop hiding. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Wow, well, it's just wild. Um, so, <laughs> last question. Uh, how do you feel about, you know, what's going on with the markets and the recent drop? So, we saw a 4% drop in the NASDAQ, 3.5% drop in the S&P and the Dow Jones yesterday. We're in the red again today. The Nasdaq dipping into the green just a little bit, but the broader indexes are pretty much in full-on sell mode. So how do you think this is going to affect the cannabis stocks, the cannabis industry? Um, is it short-term, long-term, or how do you feel? Uh, the markets have been on a massive bull ride ever since Trump got into power. Uh, it had to come back down. Everything was at all-time highs, the Dow, the Nasdaq. The S&P 500, everything's been at all-time high. So what goes up must come down. There is gravity in the market. Always has been, always will be. What goes down must go up. What goes up must come down. So I'm not surprised. Will it hurt the cannabis stocks? Of course it will. Has it hurt them? Yes. Will it continue to hurt them? Yes. Mm. What do I think long-term? I think that as long as you invest in good companies with strong yeah. revenues, strong products, strong management, you will win. Yeah, I fully agree with that. And the one thing that our viewers can take from this, I feel there will be a 
again, whenever the market corrects, there's going to be a rotation from growth into value, not necessarily the cannabis sector, but the broader market. I think we're going to see a rotation out of tech into consumer staples into utilities and energy. That's just my personal opinion. What do you think about that? I think it's I think it's possible. I think anything's possible. I think that the market is just going in cycles. Yep. And I've had this argument with people within my membership that are like, it's gonna crash, it's gonna go down like never before. And I'm like, well, just look at the 90 year chart of the S P 500. It's never yep. done that. It goes down and then it immediately within weeks comes right back up and then goes higher than before. So if it yeah. does crash, all it's going to do is generate a buying opportunity. Now, if exactly. there's a recession, that will be that will last years. But the market itself, it never stays down for extended periods of time, ever. Yeah, because there's always someone with cash, in, not in the market. Oh, now the market's down. Oh, now it's a buying opportunity. It's, Correct. It's just these are these are real businesses. These are the things that make money, at, and when they're at a discount. Especially if the market's down so much, then someone's going to buy them eventually. So I totally agree with that. Absolutely. So, anyways, I mean, yeah, I think that was a great talk. We had a lot of topics in there. And uh, we'll wrap up this video. Is there anything else that you have to say for the day, Rich? I just wanted to say thank you guys for all your support. Uh, Rich TV Live has grown tremendously with all of the members and everybody's support. The Partridge Capital is growing very quickly. The two of us are growing tremendously thanks to you, the people. I love you guys. We broke 16,000 subscribers on YouTube yesterday. I believe you're, you just broke 11,000 or you're about I'm to break? I'm about to break 11,000. I've got like 20 some more to go. So, so hit that subscribe button. Huge. Get me to 11K, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hit that subscribe button, guys. Please su su support both of us. We're just here to help you guys, bring you guys the winners. We love you guys. We appreciate all your effort, all your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. And honestly, I just feel blessed, man. Thank you guys for everything. And, and Aaron, thank you for all your support and everything you've done as well. This is a great collaboration, oh. and I think it's – a partnership that we can have for years to come. Exactly, Rich. I look forward to it. And thank you for all your knowledge. Thank you for contributing all your stuff. So I look forward to many, many, many more videos. And let's leave with some Mr. Mr. Left. Mr. Left. I got to listen to it one more time. Just one more time. Mr. Left, this is for you. Your mom's asking why you're on TV, Mr. Left. Dinner time. There's a lemon Come on, on the home, table. Mr. Left. Let's go. Come on. Get your hands up. <laughs> All right, party people. We're out. Peace. Just email me, guys, and I'll send you the diss track. Mr. Left, if you want the diss track, send your boy an email. Holler at your boy. Peace. That's awesome. <laughs>